I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by CoinKite.com, bringing you the best hardware to secure your Bitcoin. The cold card queue, the tab signer, the block log, and plenty more goodies can be found over at CoinKite.com. Use code BTC Sessions for a nice discount at checkout. My reason for being bullish, it's in the realm of fun things that I've been tinkering with in and around my, my cold card. You know, if anybody has no idea what this is, it's basically a Bitcoin signing device where you can approve transactions and, you know, keep your keep your keys safely offline. And it's super, super slick. And I love it. It's kind of my daily driver. But um, the password manager thing, basically, you can input existing passwords that you have. You can generate random passwords with the device using the entropy within it uh, and store them. Or you can do something called BIP85 to generate passwords. And what that does is you have your regular seed phrase, your 12 or 24 words that you would write down. Um, and from that, it kind of becomes like a, a, a parent key and it can generate up to 10,000 keys below it. And those can take the form of totally separate wallets, which can never be used to work backwards and compromise the master. But it can also be used for passwords. And so what you would do is you would say, I want account number five. Show me the password that would be generated from that. And that can actually be used as a password for a website. And if you were to smash or lose the device, it's actually linked to a seed phrase. So you could get a new cold card, put in your seed phrase, and then say, hey, what was account number five again? And it would spit out your password for a website, um, which is pretty cool. And you can also, you know, you can plug it into a computer and hit send and it will fill any field that your cursor is in. So it can fill the password for you or it can be exported as a QR code. So you can take your phone and like scan the single password you need and then paste it into the appropriate field. I just tried a new feature that that they they put in relatively recently. You can create a transaction either on a phone or on a computer, scan it with this in a, in a second, and your keys are here, and then you can sign it and say, I approve this transaction. And then just any phone, even without a Bitcoin wallet on it, just tap it, and it will broadcast that information to the Bitcoin network, which is pretty cool.